Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Leo. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Leo and it will not resonate with every Leo cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Leo or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. I do offer a, offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings if you're interested. Um, click the join button below. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. Move this over. All right, what is going on with my Leo collective right now? All right, ooh, we have true love and we have a lucky star. Okay. So... Something, some type of true love situation is like just coming. I just saw one, two, three on the camera. Something is coming to you effortlessly. Like this is not something that you're going to have to go out and find. It's just something that I'm not going to say that it's going to fall. I mean, it could. It's something that's just, you're just going to like kind of stumble across. Or this is somebody coming toward you, not somebody that you have to take action towards. Okay. Yeah. And this is a true love situation. Yeah, leading to a, the possibility of a long-term union, mm -hmm. a selfless and unconditional love. Okay, wow. And you know what's manifesting this, guys, is you just loving yourself. This is something that you are attracting because you guys are in an energy of self-love or once you get into the energy or the vibration of self-love or whatever, you will be attracting this true love situation, this selfless and unconditional love. Yeah, wow, okay busting through your limiting beliefs you'll discover your self-worth a long journey to self-love so we have lyran lyran i don't ever know how to pronounce this lyran lyran it says excel so some of you guys some of you guys actually are about to achieve some type of attention like social media attention social media famous uh famous in entertainment achieving high social status so that we have lucky star we have stardom here so some of you guys are like destined to be in the public eye or to be like stars or like you know like actors or like have some type of fame is what I'm trying to say so yeah binge and physical joy is freedom fighter so how does this Lyran or Lyran energy um how relate to Leo so you have singleness so some of you guys are kind of like you're not settling you're kind of just like in this energy of like focusing on yourself and maybe some of you guys are dating around, but I don't feel like you guys have found anybody that you really wanted to invest in or settle down with. So you guys are just like kind of like spending time doing the things that make you happy, like having a lot of fun and a lot of enjoyment. All right. So it says meant to be single on a karmic level. Focus will be your purpose, not love. So yeah, you guys are maybe focusing on your purpose, your, your hobbies, your skills, your abilities, like your career, whatever it is. And like you're getting in this energy where you're like content with being single. Like you don't feel like you need another person. All right. Um, so what does this mean? Because I see we have this true love. So we have life path one coming out. So um, yeah, trailblazer, leader, pioneer, risk taker. You do better working on your own. So yeah, something about right now. You're, you're going to be able to achieve something or work towards something more efficiently being single, like not being wrapped up in a romantic situation right now. But it says you are a true romantic deep in your heart. Okay, anything else? Criminal mind, okay. Yeah, test it to conquer your demons. Some of you guys maybe had a hard time being alone or being single or, you know, and this is like a kind of like difficult for you maybe to some degree, but you're getting more comfortable with it. Yeah, what is this about? What is criminal mind here for? Old soul. A search for balance and completion, spiritual awareness, teaching, why spiritual detach deep, okay? Mm, what does criminal mind and old soul have to do with Leo? We have life path eight, so material manifestor, power, the boss, can create several sources of income. Prior yeah, it's like something here about you needing to prioritize work over love right now, or your purpose over love, and this is maybe difficult for you to some degree, but you're, you're conquering your demons, 
Yeah, you're going to realize that this was a hidden blessing. Find the blessings in the struggles. Grow and expand beyond the limitations. Be grateful for all life experiences. All right, let's do one more of these. We have life path too, okay? Harmony, relationships, partners. You prefer not to be in the limelight. It's like some of you guys don't like being in the limelight, but you're you're supposed to be like or something like that. Like some of you guys don't like being in the public eye, but you will be or you will end up being in some way. Yeah, companionship is important to you. Like it is important for you guys to like find your person or be in a relationship, but Spirit is trying to force you to kind of look inward here. Yeah, spend more time alone because yeah, some of you guys are on the twin flame journey. You're on the path to intimacy now with your twin flame. You will meet your you will meet them in this life or you're if you haven't met them yet, you're about to meet them. Learning about your sexual behaviors, discovering your true sexual nature, sexuality plays an important role. You will meet them in this life, divine mission together, a gift presented by the divine. Um, who had a reading like this? Capricorn? Some of you guys will be dealing with a Capricorn. What about path to intimacy? What does this mean? Yeah, service. You put others before yourself. Lessons learned through give and take. Here to be of service to others. Hmm... What does that have to do with path to intimacy? Mature soul. Empathy, self-awareness, introspective. Home and family. Building a loving home. Envy. Uh-oh. Life with not many friends. Use discernment and friendships. Repeatedly encountering envy in your life. What? Shortcuts must go deeply into the process. Can't speed up your evolution. Resist trying to skip levels. Hmm. You're like in like a. It's like almost like you guys are helping others in some way, but through you being of service to others, you are also learning, learning lessons here. Things have to play out in a certain way. There's no shortcuts. They have to play out in this way. Why is envy here, though? What is this envy? Envy because of what? Because you're a source of light. Yeah, a source of light. and You have a light that not everybody has. And you will encounter people that envy that, that light. Achieving personal growth and wisdom. Your inner strength inspires others. People are envious of how strong you are. Hmm. It's like you're showing somebody the path to intimacy here, but feeling lost. Yeah, it's like you you help the people that are, you help the people that are feeling lost and empty and alone, that fear change, shy away from change. You kind of trigger transformation in them or you show them the way. You help you help them get on their path, their correct path to their highest good. What is what's that have to do with envy though? And like somebody is envious of this, the ego self, the egotistical people. Dismantling the ego is a crucial step. The biggest block to your true self. Must explore the nature of your ego. Hmm. Difficult role. Yeah. Walk in the heart, being prepared for great things. You've been being prepared for great things. Whatever this is that's coming in for you, like it's going to attract, and like people are going to be envious of whatever it is that you've got coming in. So this looks like a love situation. Let's see what's so they're on the path. Something is manifesting for them in regards to a true love union. All right, a true love, a selfless love, an unconditional love. Because they are practicing self-love and knowing their worth. Tell me more about this, this true love. So yeah, there's something here about some type of ability that you have. New creative ideas Focus on expressing yourself. Following your creative instincts. Yeah, creative projects, a creative life. That's going to lead, yeah, maybe you and this person, whoever this person that you're going to come into union with, you guys will be working on some type of creative, 
something together. Like you will be a team, a partnership to complete a goal. Someone will come to your aid, expanding your, I swear. I feel like it was Capricorn that had a reading like this. 10, 10 on the camera. Yeah. Someone will come to your aid, expanding your network, delegating tasks. Like you guys will be working together on something. It will be like work and love. Like you and this person will come together to work on something together. Like, like, I don't know. There's something that some type of project or like you guys will make money together doing like you guys will have like a business together or something like that. Yeah, we had 1010 on the camera. And now we have the world. Completion, completion of a major milestone, fulfillment time, success, broadening your horizons, end of a journey. So what does that mean for this situation? Mm, disappointment, regret, depression, unwelcome change. What does this have to do with sadness because of what? So maybe there was an ending. There was an ending that occurred here. There was an ending that occurred, but what you don't know, and this was something that you didn't want, but Spears has the, the, the unseen is here. Working behind the scenes, not seeing the full picture, the blessings you don't see, magic happening behind the scenes. Yeah, hot mess. Somebody, um, yeah, feeling miserable and unhappy, being irresponsible, disorderly habits, untidy mind, chaotic, messy situation. What does this have to do with Leo? Good news, okay, about, what is the good news? About, you feel like your love life has been blocked. So that's going to be changing here. Whatever this good news is coming in, it's like, yeah, I feel like this is somebody that you already know. And I feel like it's somebody that you've been spending some time apart from. There had to be an ending between you and this person because I feel like there was a lot going on in this person's life that you didn't know about. Um, or you didn't, you didn't know the extent of like how messy this person was, how like they, yeah, they were, they were in some type of messy situation. So I feel like it was necessary for you to take some time off for yourself to relax and do the things that made you happy. What is the world? What is this? What's the world? I feel like you were not, you were, yeah, look at this, a sudden change and yeah, somebody's going to take a risk. Yeah. Getting out of their comfort zone, leap into the unknown, adventure awaits. Yeah, this is somebody that you haven't been speaking to, who still it feels very passionate about you. Mm-hmm. What about this person and Okay, burnt out, not taking... You were putting so much energy to trying to help this person get their shit together that I feel like you were neglecting yourself. What does this mean for this person they're dealing with? And that what? Mm, what does this mean for this person? Death. They're being divinely guided to do what? To end something? To set boundaries in a situation? Or spirit has been, has been guiding you to stand your ground? Yeah. You are protected, divinely guided. Your boundaries are being tested, not surrendering, standing your ground, staying true to yourself. What does this mean for this person? What energy are they in? Yeah, because this person was not good for you. The devil. Yeah, so you guys could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. But if not, they had addictions, obsessions, dependencies. Yeah, materialistic, bad financial habits. Yeah, shadow self. So what does this mean going forward? Yeah, somebody's not doing well. What does this mean for Leo? What about finances? See, I don't know, y'all. Somebody may be coming toward... I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that this is... They're trying to use you. But this is so similar to Capricorn's reading, I feel like. They're not trying to use you. All right? But I feel like this person feels like if you guys come together and pull your skills together and your money, that you guys can, like, be very abundant together or something like that. Because I see that so there's something here about money is influencing a romantic offer or somebody starting to want to come in with some type of offer because of financial reasons. I see it because we have surviving here. Yeah. Barely hanging on, living paycheck to paycheck. Maybe somebody is doing okay, right? Maybe like they do have enough money to pay all their bills and everything that they need, but they feel like they live paycheck to paycheck. They don't have anything else. Like, so maybe they're thinking like, if you guys work together, they would have more, like they'd be able to do more. They'd be able to travel. They'd be able to go do whatever it is. 
because I feel like they're seeing the life that you live or something like that. Like you guys are be able, you're, you're, you have a lot of fun and excitement in your life or something like that. You're able to have like indulge or I don't know what it is, guys. But yeah, it says burnout is knocking on your door. No savings, limited resources. Like somebody doesn't feel like they have like the ability to save. Like they don't have a safety net. Like they, like I'm not saying this person doesn't have feelings for you because I do feel like they do. Because it does, it says, yeah, being asked out on a date, love, they want to take things to the next level. They want you guys to like work on building something together because they feel like, and maybe this is something that you guys wanted with them at some point. It's like they don't have a like they don't have as much as they would like. And they are they're feeling like, well, maybe if me and Leo come together, I'll have more. Let's see. How does this person how does this person feel about Leo? Because I see, see, there's that burnout card again. How does the person feel about Leo? They feel like you're a rare gift. Like they feel like you're an opportunity that they should seize. Yeah, special gifts given to you. Seize the opportunities. Yeah, unique gifts bring luck and success. Yeah. They feel like you have some type of, you're gifted or you have some type of ability to, you, you're very lucky or you're able to achieve success or something. Yeah, you have the power to attract wealth or something like that. They want you around. They want to have you around them. They want to be with you because they see how abundant you are. How do they feel about Leo? Yeah, woman, what about you? What is this woman? What does this mean for Leo? What does woman mean for Leo? Round and round. Why? Leadership. Yeah, it's like you're showing, yeah, high influence in business. Stepping into a leadership role, you know your worth. Yeah, so you stop repeating a cycle with this person because you know your worth. Yeah, you're setting boundaries. So what does that have to do with this person? They know that they have to clean up their life. Yeah, they know that you're not settling anymore. They have to choose, yeah, sweeping away negative situations. If there's Who is this feminine, though? I don't know. Who is women? Woman. Yeah, see, this is a, there's somebody around them, guys, that's jealous. It's a feminine energy. Hidden enemies, jealousy, hiding true intentions, being two-faced. Yeah, it's, yeah, look at this between worlds. Torn between two paths, space between the old and the new. They're like one foot in and one foot out the door with another person. Or an, it's a feminine energy. Trying to balance your two lives in transition. Yeah. They're trying to transition away from some type of jealous or envious person. Yeah, they're trying to let somebody go. That they've learned their lesson from or with. They want to restore this. They want another chance with you. They feel very passionate about you. Like They feel very drawn to you. Mm hmm. It's like they want more out of life now. They don't want to live this like they feel like being with you will lead to that. Like, I don't know. Like They want change now, but they're going to have to leave some something behind here. And they feel like that might be possibly playing with fire because this person is whoever this is, is like an enemy. Who is this person? Tell me more about this jealous person. It could be the person that they have children with. Hoping you're working with children, starting a tell me who the tell me about children in this person. Happiness. What about happiness? Hidden enemies. Contracts. What about contracts? Purpose. Yeah, you guys have some type of soul contract here. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have some type of soul contract. Yeah. Feeling happy about your life, an incident that made you happy. Why is children here though? The past. Yeah, you this person's gonna read you guys know this person's gonna be back. Why is children here though? Time off. They maybe needed to handle some type of legal matter in regards to children. Time off because why? Yeah, you are being protected. See jealous people nearby. You're being protected from something. What are they being protected from? 
So yeah, a karmic. Suddenly, they're like going through karma is what I'm getting. And spirit didn't want you to be in the midst of their karma. Does that make sense? It may not even be that this person has another person. It's just the fact that this person, you like, you, they have some karma that they're reaping. And I feel like spirit is trying to protect you from that. But I feel like you guys know that this person's going to be back, that they will return. They're going to maybe reach out to you online. You guys may know that this person watches you online or something like that. Yeah, it's like they're in like a, a yeah, the masculine. The masculine is like in the process of moving away from a situation where they no longer belong anymore. Like they've outgrown a situation. They're in like a transitional period. Yeah. And I feel like they've been like slowly progressing out of this situation. Like it's been like, why is celebration here? What is that? What is happy out? They still, they don't think that things are over. Why is local travel here? A painful sacrifice. Life is testing you. Heart choices to prevail. Suffering for a goal. What is local? Yeah, love. New. They want to. It's not over for this person. I'm telling you. But why is local travel here though? Something is. You and this person are going to be traveling. Or there's a little bit of distance between you and this person. Soulmates here. Wow, guys. Look at this. Pink diamond, a rare op opportunity, fine, one of a kind, love, unique, creative expression, wealth and prosperity. Yeah. Harmonious partnership, a powerful love, soul family, groups, a bond that helps you grow. Yeah. You and this person are going to be traveling. I don't know where to, but you're going to be traveling. Attracting a long-term partner, marriage life, attracted to a married person, new partner, it may be divorced. Yeah. Yeah. Things have to happen at a certain pace, but there is going to be a new beginning between you and this person. I see you and this person being able to have like a lot of fun together. But for them, even though you guys are not speaking, it's not over for them. They're still hoping for some type of happy outcome with you. Yeah. That's their dream is to have like a happy outcome with you. Yeah. Or you're manifesting this. Yeah, it may be difficult or it has been difficult. You've been through a lot with this person, but... In the end, it looks like you guys are going to be manifesting some type of happy outcome when it comes to this situation or with this person. Come on. All right. All right, find more about what's going on here, spirit. See, why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. There was some type of disappointment and love here. Yeah, unfulfilled and unloved coldness. Yeah, somebody's been sad, like, or feeling abandoned, unloved. What does this have to do with Leo? Someone's not happy about, what does this have to do with Leo? The King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What about this person? Page of Pentacles. They want to manifest something with you. They have like a goal. See, what is this about financial opportunity? Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The strength. And they don't feel like they have much to offer you. Yeah. Yeah. They're sad. They feel like you don't love them or they are, they're feeling pretty unloved. And... um. I feel like they, they are sad that you guys couldn't get this off the ground. They're not happy. They have a lot of love for you, if they're even if they're not expressing it to you. But when it comes to something stable or like material, they don't feel like they have much to offer you when it comes to that. I feel like they hope to. But right now, they don't feel they're doubting themselves. They don't feel good enough for you. Leo energy. So what now? <laughs> Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. They're struggling to juggle everything else that they've already got going on in their life. That they feel that they have an inability to fully commit to you. 
and move it, like to be able to move this forward. They don't feel that they can. So what now? Cancer energy. Yeah, there's delays. I feel like this is still something that they want, but they're upset because they want it to happen now or you want this to happen now and they know that you're not waiting on them or something like that. That They're frustrated with like how slowly things are moving for them and they maybe feel like they keep encountering setbacks. But what I feel like this person is re gonna realize, y'all, is that what they're what they're like they're trying to like accomplish everything and then come back to you like this accomplished, established, total package type person. But I feel like what this person is gonna maybe realize is that This is something that's going to take time. Like they're going to realize that it's something that is going to take time. And that it would maybe be better for them to come in and like, like you guys can like, yeah, they're not happy. What are they realizing here before I say what I think is going on? That they're going to miss an opportunity. They're not happy about feeling like they've missed their chances or like that they don't have much to offer you. So what are they going to do? Hmm. I don't know, y'all. I feel like they kind of... What's the Seven of Wands in reverse? Uh, the Seven of Swords. What are they? Queen of Pentacles. Who are these people? Who's the Queen of Pentacles? The Five of Wands. They know that there's competition for you. Yeah. So they feel like they need to make... Yeah, it's like... Mm, what is the Seven of Swords, though? They're strategizing, like, what? how can I approach, I need to approach Leo differently. How do I go about doing this? This person is very insecure. Who's the Queen of Cups in reverse? There's somebody that they need to let go of. I feel like somebody that's using them or something like that, or they need to lighten their load. They have like a lot of needy ass person, people around them. I don't know if it's just one person or if it's multiple people. But there's somebody around them that is like super needy and that they give a lot to and there's codependence there. And yeah, and I feel like they need to let that go so that they can have something with you. And with the death card, Scorpio energy, I do feel like they are going to do that. We have Taurus energy here too because they see you as this queen of pentacles. I'm telling you nurturing practical generous welcoming sensible luxurious heavy on the luxurious caring yeah good business sense you have a good business sense some of you guys have successful businesses all right working parent they know that you're a catch right so they feel like they need to hurry up and make a move yeah what see now why do we have the queen of swords in reverse but you guys may not be for that you know you guys are guarded yeah, I don't know. Self-loathing, resisting the universe, self-doubt, fear. What's the Queen of Swords in reverse? The world. They're working on what? Mm. I feel like this person wants, they're trying to work on their financial situation. Who is this Queen of Swords in reverse though? Mm. I feel like this person doesn't know if you're going to take them back. I feel like the Queen of Swords is you because you guys have set boundaries with this person. I don't know if they think you, I think they don't know if you're going to forgive them. I feel like they're releasing their fear. They're going to come in with some type of communication because they're rethinking things. That's that's what's happening here. They're rethinking things. Um, I feel like Leo has been getting readings like this for a minute where it's like somebody is looking at something differently now and they feel like you guys can accomplish a lot more together than apart. When before, I think that they were maybe thinking that they wanted to do it. They, they, they didn't want help or they didn't want, they could do it all by themselves. Their ego, that ego is crumbling now. Like they're realizing that there's something that they can't do by themselves or like it would happen a lot quicker or faster if they worked with you. But this person's ego is so big, they've not been wanting to come to terms with that. I'm not saying that this person's necessarily trying to use you for money, but like you maybe just wanted to be in a normal relationship with this person, work towards living together, having a family together. And of course, if you guys are living together and you guys, you know, you're going to share bills, you're going to, you know, build a life together. And obviously it'd be a lot easier doing it with two incomes or, you know, working together than doing it apart. I feel they're they're starting to maybe see that now. That's what I'm getting from this. 
All right, well, so we're going to take this over to the extended reading. We're going to take a deeper look to see what this person's thinking and feeling. Um, uh, yeah, their intentions, timing, guidance, all that will be in the extended reading. Personal readings are open. Um, oh, the link to the extended is in the description box, or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you over in the extended reading. Bye.